Hey folks, I'm in Bluefield, West Virginia today with Jody Queen. And uh, I know that when I started kayak fishing with a motor, I went straight to using a Torquedo. Not everyone starts there. Um, some folks start with a traditional trolling motor and then eventually go with a Torquedo. And uh, Jody's got his original one here that he started with. He's gonna tell you a little bit about the differences yeah. between the two. Yeah, one of the, you know, first of all, this is a, a 30 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor, which I, see I cut the top off of it. This is the top. And I had this mounted beside my seat. Uh, I could reach it easy and had this mount on the back, of course. Uh, one of the biggest factors uh, when I started using this was, was the weight. Uh, the battery weighs right at about 44, 45 pounds. It's a lead acid battery. Uh, this weighs probably 12 pounds, maybe a little bit more. So, I mean, you're looking at, you're hauling around an extra 56 to 60 pounds. Uh, I had this mounted on my kayak. When I first started out, I was getting right at about 4.8 uh, 4 miles per hour with it, according to my, my fish finder, my uh, sonar. I've used this now for about close to two years. And uh, one of the big things I noticed about uh, the performance of this motor was I'm on the water about 250 to 280 days a year. So uh, I used it, uh, used it a lot. I was get, getting about 4.8 miles per hour out of it. After the first year of fishing, that dropped to about 3.8 uh, top end on, on smooth water. I kept a close eye on it because, you know, it mattered a lot to me, my speed. Right now, before I took this off my kayak, I was getting 3.2. Now, I think what's happening is, I think the brushes, the way this, this motor is designed, uh, the brushes are starting to wear in it and you're just not getting the thrust out of it. One of the biggest problems with thrust also was when my lead acid battery was started getting uh, low, I lost my thrust, I lost my top end, I started losing you know, the control of my boat, uh, my ability to stay in the wind. Uh, it just, it was a hindrance, it became a hindrance. I mean, I could just about paddle, you know, just about, you know, it was about as good as what I was getting out of it. Uh, was it an advantage over not having one? It was, but after, you know, heavy use for a year and a half or almost two years, it almost became a hindrance because I was, hauling so much weight. Uh, maneuverability was nothing like what I've, I've got with the Torquedo right now. The way this Torquedo is set up, uh, the, one of the big differences in the motor itself is this is a brushless motor. There's no brushes to wear out. They use rare earth magnets in this, which if you're not familiar with that, I can tell you they are the strongest magnets on the earth. They're very expensive magnets actually. Uh, but that has a huge effect on the performance of the motor itself. Uh, very little maintenance. I mean, you're not replacing brushes in this thing after two years of use, I promise you that. The batteries are lithium batteries. I mean, this thing, if it weighs eight pounds, I mean, it's nothing compared to 44 pounds that I got rid of uh, by going to this system. Uh, like I say, also the range of this battery. Uh, I looked at uh, my, my speed control, which it tells you all that information, it gives you how far you can go at the, at the current amount of wattage that you're using. Uh, the GPS on it, it does that for you. Uh, I was pushing about three to six watts and sometimes, that I, I mean, it was telling me I, I got 90 miles, you know, to go if I was using that much power. But these batteries, they don't drop off, the thrust of your motor doesn't drop off whenever the, the charge on your battery starts dropping. After two years of usage, I started out with this one at 4.8. I started out with the Torquedo, 5.2. After one year of hard usage, I went to 3.8, Torquedo, 5.2. This last time that I went out, 3.2, Torquedo, 5.2.